Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review and it's been a long time since I've reviewed an app. That's because I've mostly been just using the same apps. But recently I discovered Wheel Launcher and that's because uh, I was using a sidebar launcher called Wave Launcher and it's no longer being developed. It wasn't really compatible with Android Pie so I had to look for a good replacement and went through a bunch of different ones and found Wheel Launcher. Uh, you'll see this little tiny little thing on the side of my screen here. If I swipe out from there, you get Wheel Launcher. And from here, I can launch a bunch of things. If I need quick access to my calculator, uh, if I need quick access to my calendar, and that's through a calendar widget that I have, a pop-up widget. If I want to change volume settings on my phone, all those things I've added to there. You can launch any app. Um, you can do shortcuts. You'll see there's a bunch of different things you can do. Uh, so I chose this because it's easy, it's very feature rich, very customizable, which is very important to me as far as the way it functions and how it's set up. A lot of it is left in your hands and it's available wherever you are on your phone. So uh, no matter what app you're in, it's always there. And that's the whole point of it is to give you quick access to the things you put on here, no matter where you are. Now you see it's a wheel and you can spin. I do have a, a folder. You can also add folders. So when I click that folder, uh, things that I put inside that folder. So uh, that's Wheel Launcher. Uh, let's go into the settings so I can show you all the different uh, settings it has. If you click the plus button, then you get all the things you can add to the wheel. You can add apps, you can add a recent shortcut, quick settings, uh, audio controls, application shortcuts, system preference, accessibility, a contact uh, or folder. Uh, so lots of different things. But let's go into settings so you can kind of see the way it's set up. First of all, you see you can't have themes. So you have all these different themes. I've got the neon theme going on, but there's lots of different, uh, these are all the ones I've installed, and then there's even more available in the market. So you can create it to have the look you want to have that works for your phone and your taste, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you have an icon pack, you can choose that you've installed on your phone. You want to use all the icons from that icon pack, then you can choose that here and use an icon pack, which is cool. Uh, there is a how-to that I'll show you different things, how different things work, so great to step you through it. Uh, you decide you want it on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. Uh, position and size. Now, this is, very, uh, this is where it's really customizable. You can decide how big you want the wheel to be. You can decide how big you want the icons on the wheel to be. How many icons do you want to show on the wheel at one time? So you can have... Fewer of them show, so you have to scroll around to get to them, or more of them show. Um, the font size on the icons, I don't have uh, uh, labels underneath my icons, so it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, and then right there, you see hide icon labels. Now, I don't have that selected, but there's another place you can do that as well, which is where I did it. So that's why it doesn't show for me. Um, Actually, I take that back. I do have it selected, obviously. But before I selected it, I just deleted all the labels manually and just made them spaces so that they weren't there. But then uh, I realized that I could just do it in here, which would have been easier from the beginning. So don't do like me. If you don't want icon labels, just click that and you won't have icon labels. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And you can move this where you want it to be. Now right here, I'm moving where I want the wheel to be. And then there's another screen where you can decide if you want the trigger to be in the center of the wheel, so wherever the wheel is, or if you want the trigger to be somewhere independent, which is pretty awesome. Let's go back over here, trigger. So you can see you can uh, launch it when tapped. Um, I don't have that selected because I don't want it to accidentally do that. Select launch gesture. So I have it so that when I swipe out, that's what launches it. But you can set other gestures as well to do that and the middle of the wheel now if i select this then my trigger won't be down here where it is it'll be up uh it would be up uh in the center of the wheel that's where my trigger would be but i want my trigger to be lower on my screen so i have that unchecked and then i move it down but when i open it the wheel opens up where i have it and then movable if you want to move it uh so that's the uh that option and then let's see infinite scrolling that's if you want to be able to scroll continually scroll around the wheel or if you want it to just go to the end and stop then you have to go back up 
uh, trigger hide. Uh, that's if you want the option to drag out to hide the trigger. Dim behind if you want it to dim behind the wheel whenever you launch it. Auto start on boot. Uh, haptic feedback. You can select what kind of feedback you want. Shake to open and close. If you select this and if you shake your phone, that would launch it. And then you can adjust the sensitivity of that. Um, I don't have that selected because uh, I don't need that. So there you go, so that's that. Uh, now what's cool is if you long press on one of these icons, you get other options. You can move it up, you can move it down, you can rearrange all of them alphabetically, rearrange them so that the most recent is at the top. You can change the icon. You see all my icons are neon icons, that's because if you click change icon, then you can select from gallery, uh, either you can select an icon pack if you have added one, or you can select from the gallery on your phone. Uh, which is what I did and how I did mine. And then gesture uh, or remove. Now gesture, you can quick launch anything you've added to your wheel, you can quick launch with gestures. So if I click gesture, you'll see these are the different gestures you can choose. You can only assign them to something that you have added to your wheel. So I have a couple things I put in a folder that you don't even see when the wheel comes out uh, because I wanted to be able to launch them with a gesture. And uh, you'll see these are all the different gestures you have. So uh, let's go back to it and you'll see if I... So that quick launch that counter, that's the same thing as if I go out and then tap that. Just by going down and out. And if I go up and out, then that's my volume control. So I don't even have to open the wheel to get to that, it's a quick launch. Now if I just go down, then that's notifications. As you can see, it's not perfect, it doesn't, you know, because it's a tiny little area for the trigger and uh, that's what you want. You don't want it to be too big. So sometimes, you know, you may miss, but more or less, it works to get you notifications without having to reach all the way up there. And if I go down and up, then it launches to quick settings. So that's kind of a cool, there's a down up, uh, oh, see that time I didn't do it right, so I launched a nap. So yeah, it goes right to quick settings. Now likewise, if I go up, that launches Google Assistant. That's my up, and if I go up, down, then it launches Alexa. So, and I added those, but I didn't add those all here. See, I had this many, this is the number of icons I wanted to show on the screen. These are all the icons that uh, I wanted quick launch. And then I added a folder and added icons I wanted to put the gestures to. It's like quick settings and different tasker shortcuts and stuff. So really cool app. Again, it allows you to add, um, as you can see, apps, recents, quick settings, audio controls, application shortcuts, system preferences. Um, contacts for quick dials or folder. Uh, so a great, great sidebar, again called Wheel Launcher, uh, works great. Functionality is completely customizable to make it work perfect for you. It's got those cool gestures you can use. Uh, you can change the whole look of it uh, using your own icons as well as the themes that are built in. Just a really, really awesome app. Um, so again, it is called Wheel Launcher. I'll have a link uh, in the description below to the app on Google Play. You can click that and jump over there and uh, uh, install it if it's something that you think you'd like to use. Anyway, that's it for this review. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my videos. I don't do a ton of app reviews these days, um, but if I find other cool apps like this, I will. Uh, but I have an entire Tasker tutorial series if you want to learn how to take control of your phone with Tasker. And I do a lot of gadget and product reviews that you might want to watch as well. Anyway, that's going to be it until next time. Uh, so have fun with Android.